Hey guys and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing on this AY AY3M. Hey guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy this content today, please do consider liking, commenting and subscribing because those interactions will help me get seen by the YouTube algorithm. If you want to support the channel a little bit more, my link tree link is down below. That will take you to all my socials, including my Discord. Stop by and say hello. And if you want to support the channel even more, the channel membership's down below. 99 pence a month, totally optional. Really appreciate it. You get custom content, custom giveaways and that kind of thing. So I've got then the AY3M uh, to unbox uh, just because it looked interesting for not an awful lot of money. So let's have a look. It's just a very, very plain brown box with just a teeny tiny little bit of branding. If not even branding, I suspect that's just the retailer's uh, sort of uh, labeling on there. So get that out of the way. Again, teeny tiny little box, a uh, little bit of foam, get that out of the way. So we've got 405 to 417 FPS. We'll check that on our own chrono. We've got some polish safety instructions, some more in safety instructions, and some more safety instructions. Unfortunately, I can't read uh, polish, but there is the ANY AY3M. So it is... A bit unusual that is the battery hatch opening already let's see ow scrimped my finger in there already so there is a high cap mag I think the box is devoid of anything else it is nice foam cut though it does look like there was space for a charger maybe even a battery as well and a little bag of BBs none of that was in there but there is the AY3M um, that is, in, even with a metal stock, that is incredibly light, incredibly light. And it is pretty damn tiny as well. Um, that is pretty small. Um, so let's get started. Now, first thing you will have noticed, that is the battery hatch that is just swinging open. It looks like it should have some sort of retention on it. It looks like there's like a little enhanced bit on each side there it just it just is not working if i pinch it pinch the hand guard in it works treat if i let go it is not retaining so that's obviously something to think about now that i thought moved in some way shape or form it does not it looks like it's solid it doesn't collapse in any way it doesn't twist it doesn't move but it does look like i can remove a screw there and a screw there and i suspect that will come out um, we have got an unusual muzzle brake at the front. Again, with a grub screw on, we'll check that in the disassembly. That is a nine the life out of me. Um, so, metal uh, muzzle brake, metal front sight, and I don't know if that's actually adjustable or not. Let's tell you what. I don't think that's actually adjustable. If it is, it's because it's basically been glued in that it's not moving, but it's not going anywhere anyway. Uh, we've then got a rather, oh, see, it feels kind of overly chunky, massive handguard in there with our bat poor battery cover. We will look at batteries, but that, if that is the battery compartment, that is teeny tiny. It goes a little bit down there, uh, and we are wired to mini Tamiya. E Okay, uh, coming back there, we've got the mag well. That is the mag type. Uh, might see if I can get a picture of the, the LCT that do a version of this and see if the mags are similar. But I don't think it's going to accept an AK mag because they are different shapes and sizes. Uh, so it won't take an AK mag by the looks of it. It has got a sign out, unfortunately, it does look sizing wise like it should be an AK side mount, but I don't have to have an AK side mount to tech. But that is a metal top cover and that is a metal body as well, which that is surprisingly light for mostly metal. We've then got a stock on this side that clicks. Does it need 
got to pull down on the hinge and it locks into place. Tiniest little bit of movement, but that's actually pretty solid. And a little bit of movement in the handguard, but not an awful lot. That feels quite solid. I'm not going to. Is it a straight in? Is it. It is front in, clicking at the back like an AK mag. Uh, I'm going to be honest, that doesn't feel too bad. It's. It's quite solid actually, I'm, I'm surprised considering how light it is and that distance from the sort of stock to the pistol grip a little bit further than an, a traditional AR one which I really like that distance in but it's not bad at all, that, that's quite solid and comfortable the grip's quite nice to hold the trigger, it must just be an AK internally so we've got our selector of safe auto and semi and if I remove the top cover there is Wow, cheap AK, uh, cheap plastic AK with a rather unique slider to it by the looks of it. Um, black gearbox casing, the selector is proprietary, I can see it sitting down there. Um, that is quite an interesting little package all round. It is a little bit different, it's impressively light as well. There is also a model that doesn't have the stock at all, it's just got a, a little cone thing on the back which considering how light this thing already is I can only imagine that makes it even lighter now if I just whack that back in and just that is the there's not much of noise coming off it you know like I would expect rattling and, and all sorts of things yeah I'm not I've, the, the few the few bits of videos I've seen online about this and not exactly glowing of it and about it but actually it's the build quality is so far, other than the battery hatch, the battery hatch is annoying the life out of me. This is not actually too bad. So, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go and do the usual um, shooting tests, and we'll come back and uh, have another look. Nine and a half to ten rounds a second. Wow. About seventeen rounds a second. Is over 50 meters. So I am back then, and do you know what? It's not horrific. It's I expected far worse. I'll be honest. Um, the FPS was a little bit inconsistent. We got two shots that were just way out of there. So you know, sort of the highest was 413 FPS. So it was easily doing sort of around what what gunfire have said I'm, I'm happy with that but then we got the odd outlying shot of like 369 was in there 371 was in there so potentially a compression issue slightly but even then across 10 shots that was only two um what does that make that like 20 percent of your shots might be slightly lower fps again not massive drop you're sort of looking at like 30 35 40 fps drop you probably might not even notice it, particularly if you're shooting it full auto. Um, just something obviously to be aware of, but that's obviously not UK standard uh, as it is. Rate of fire then, um, 7.4 was a little bit sluggish, 9.6. It just kind of chugged along. Do, 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 do. Uh, not amazing, but you know, you only need one BB to eliminate somebody. 11.1 .1 then, definitely come a little bit more alive at a sort of um, 17 ish rounds a second uh, and, and felt much happier for for running that 11.1 .1. uh, and the range again 
0.25s easily topping out to 50 plus meters you know the tree line that i'm shooting it to i know that it is about just over 50 ish meters away um or thereabouts um it is pretty much if nothing it's bang on 50 meters and i was hitting those trees and they're still ranging it a little bit of a sort of spread towards the end of the flight but actually not terrible at all uh, the mag uh, i have got um this mag which is a high cap and bear with me one second you can only find high caps so i've got two more high caps and all of them fed absolutely perfectly fine and flawlessly um with no issues whatsoever uh, wound up really nice uh just a shame that there's no sort of quick cheap um mid caps to go with it i suppose the battery cover is annoying as all hell a little bit of tape on that i suppose and you've got that sorted um in terms of batteries then now i've brought a little bit of a selection not much because there is not much is going to fit in here so if we remove this um and let's have a look so this one is definitely not going in in any way shape or form this one can i get it in forward first I can't even get it in that way. I've got an 1100, 11.1. Can I even get that in? Ooh, 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 ooh. Success, success. Right, okay, let me have a look at this. Is there any more room? I think the bigger question is, can I get it back out again? There we go. Is there a bit more room going backwards than there is forwards? Is it equidistant? Let's have a look. I haven't got the angle. No, so I'm going to have to put it in like that and then it's going to have to go back that way. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, you're probably going to need like a 7.4 volt version of these or maybe even if there's a, a 1000 milliamp version of these. That is not the easiest battery space to work with. It is super tiny in there. Oh, that's better if I put it in that way. And then, you know, It'd help obviously if they were both wired to the same thing, and then I'm gonna to have to wire it back. In fact, I'll tell you what this. If I put that in that way, and then I could wire that to Dean's. Put that in that way. See, shorten that up. Those will definitely go down side by side, and that will definitely go short. So you could easily run a couple of those 1100, uh, 11.1s in there you're just going to need to switch one to mini tamiya or the other one to dean's um just as a obviously a, an added thing to do um getting the battery back out though is going to be somewhat of a pain so uh, let's enlist the help of these oh. There we go. So managed to get it out, but I needed to use uh, needle nose pliers to do that. So let's move on to the uh, gloved operation then. So gloved operation then. Um, the battery hatch, I can definitely open the battery hatch. I didn't even need gloves or hands to open that up. That is terrible. Um, the magazine, absolutely fine to get that in and out. In terms of opening the hatch on it, I cannot get purchase on that to get the little hatch open, but I can definitely wind the mag. In terms of the stock, I can definitely operate the stock to get it to operate that. The selector, absolutely no issue. And the if the hop slider's not started off up against the body i can't actually get it but if it was a little bit off the body already i could definitely do that um and operating it in general i'm pretty sure i could get by with that um it is an interesting piece the handguard is chunky and i can't even remember the name of the real thing that this is based on it, you know it doesn't look like that um in terms of the iron sights, they are okay, I guess. Um, the rear one is much higher up than the the front one, so you 
Mm, got to be fair, that one is higher. So you've got two settings. That first one, that one, two, one is not too bad. I'm not convinced that they are going to be massively great because uh, looking down at getting my cheek weld on it, um, I feel like I'm looking sort of at a downward angle across them instead of like a, a, a straight line across them. Um, it is, yeah, it's an interesting little piece of kit and I will be interested to see inside it. In terms of rate of fire and performance, a little bit meh, but, 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 I suppose this is the big but, considering how little these can be had for, there is potential of a little bit of fun in there, isn't there? If you're running it stockless, the stockless one is obviously suddenly much more compact. If you wanted to run it like that, um, you know, it is potentially a cool little piece if you're doing sort of like a survival loadout, a little bit different, you know, something like that. Then, you know, there is a good amount of stability in there as well that I don't feel like it's going to just implode in my hands. Um, it's a bit of a mixed bag. In all honesty, uh, I will make sure to leave the photos at the end. The end. I hope you've enjoyed this because I found it really thoroughly enthusing to um, amusing even uh, to unbox this. Uh, stay tuned for the unboxing next week, and I will see you next time. Bye.